Hello, welcome to another one of my videos on the subject of Brexit. Today, I would like to discuss, um, in terms of the US presidential election, Biden or Trump, uh, which one of them would be better for the United Kingdom. Now, before I get into that, I'll just briefly say that the latest information in terms of the talks was a statement by Ursula van der Leyen, the president of the European Commission, who said that the talks were going well. What that means, oh, they were making, they're making progress. What that means, who knows. Now, let's get back to uh, Trump and Biden. Obviously, there's the question about who is going to win, who does the United Kingdom uh, not necessarily want to win, but who would be best for the United Kingdom. Now, the starting point has to be, what does the United Kingdom want? The United Kingdom wants a trade deal with the United States. Who is it more likely to get it from? Now, based on the statements by Donald Trump and by Joe Biden, it seems to me that in terms of leading that, that it, it would be Donald Trump. It's a different question about whether or not he can deliver it. And remember that in the United States, you need both houses of Congress to pass any deal which by um, the president. And the likelihood is that at least the House of Representatives will stay under democratic control. With the Senate, we're not so sure at the moment. So, but, and in terms of Biden, Biden's position has been focusing on the Northern Ireland Protocol and you know, not wanting, you would say, anything to happen in terms of the Good Friday Agreement. So the position in terms of the two presidential candidates, it would seem on the face of it that Donald Trump will be more favorable to the United Kingdom, but never forgetting that for both of them, the interest of the United States comes first. Now, when you also look at it, I mean, in terms of Biden, if Biden came in, what would be his priority? His priority would be about um, repairing relations with the European Union. Now, what is in the UK's interest? Is it for, um, say for example, Trump to have him um, continuing the conflict with the European Union? Or would it be Biden trying to prioritise and um, repair relationships with the European Union? Now, I'm taking away questions. I mean, I, I'm, let's put aside for a moment the issues that uh, people have in relation to Trump or in relation to Biden. I, I, the way I look at it, a lot of things that happen in America um, do not have any direct effect on the United Kingdom. The issue I tend to think about is that it's not about whether or not they have a conservative uh, or liberal Supreme Court judge. It's more about, you know, what the United States can do that will affect the UK in the wider sense, whether in terms of economic or in terms of military uh, adventures. So that, in my view, is really the way to look at it. Now, the other thing I want to touch on is who's likely to win? I mean, that's a difficult question and we have the opinion polls. Now, the last time we know the opinion polls got it wrong and the starting point I say is that with the United States and the way the electoral system works, one must disregard completely the, um, the national polls because they don't mean anything. The issue is about the electoral college and where the votes are going to come from. The states that are likely to flip. And specifically, we're talking about places like Wisconsin, Ohio, North Carolina, materially Florida, Pennsylvania. Uh, those are the key states. That is where this election is likely to be won or lost. And when you look at the opinion polls, that um, in terms of those states, the, the race is a lot narrower. And you also have to look at the margin of error. The margin of error suggests that you know, what could be seen as a lead for Biden may actually be a lead for Trump. So, as far as I'm concerned, when we look at the, you know, the election last time, on my part, I wasn't actually surprised that um, um, Trump won. Um, because, you know, for me, I was thinking at the time about the Rust Belt, uh, you know, the Midwestern states, the key issues that people are thinking about. And it's not necessarily what is represented by the media. That is what people are necessarily thinking about. And also, you do these opinion polls, and um, you know one of the issues is about when people say they don't know, where do you, how do you break that? How do you attribute it to the relevant candidates? Somebody may say, I don't know, but maybe they really know who they're going to vote for. And what I have not seen, it's not been clear, is to show that 
what have they done to correct the mistakes? They, you know, the posters, what have they done to correct the mistakes of the last occasion? Now, we have this report that their uh, turnout is likely to be higher than is normal in an American election. But then we're not clear about who are the people who are likely to come out to vote. And I'm, I'm again, focusing on these key states. Is it uh, people who are uh, um, not normally interested in the political process um, because they think that the, you know, the two parties are no good, who maybe um, are, are likely to come out and say, well, actually, Trump is different and I'm likely to vote for him. Or it could, be, could it be people who are um, unhappy with Trump because this is really, a, a, in a sense, a referendum on, 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 on Trump, who are likely to say, OK, well, I oppose what he's doing and therefore I'm not going to vote for him. And so where are those extra votes? Where are they likely to fall? And that is something that we are very un unclear about. I mean, obviously, the uh, media have, and I think with most of the media, I mean, the exceptions, it's clear that they are, you know, which side that they are on. They're very much um, against Trump. But what is not clear is that they will have the influence because what we know is that people do not get their news. It stays with the explosion of alternative media in the sense of, whether you're watching YouTube or on Facebook, you really have another way of getting your news and not necessarily having to rely on, I remember, you know, much younger days, watching, you know, <laughs> the nine o'clock or the 10 o'clock news as the definitive source as to, you know, reliable news. People get their news in, you know, in very different ways. And whether or not the pollsters are in touch with, um, you know, people to really know what they're thinking you know, if you're going to support Donald Trump, will you necessarily come out to say, oh, you know, where well, some people do say, oh, you know, I'm definitely going to support him for this reason or that reason. It, and it also depends on what your priority is, whether it's COVID or whether it's about the, you know, the American economy. And the reality is that if you ignore COVID, which should not be ignored, I make that point, if you ignore COVID, you would say that prior to it happening, the American economy was doing quite well. So really, it depends on what's happened when you think about, if you're an American, what it was like four years uh, ago, what's your economic situation now as opposed to um, uh, then, and who you think is actually better for yourself and your family. As George Bush Sr., I think, said, um, is the economy stupid? Yes, of course, there are the uh, um, issues of COVID, which, you know, is a factor. Um, but you know, it's really difficult and really with the opinion polls, I'm actually not going to put my faith in any of them. What I'm really would be interested when the results come out is A, to see what happens in terms of the numbers and the early results in these key states will give an indication as to who's um, likely to win. So if say, for example, you see high numbers, you say, for example, you know, Biden within in Georgia or Texas, then you know that um, you know Trump has lost. But if Trump, say for example, wins Wisconsin, and I do actually think he's likely to win Florida, I have to say, if he wins places like Wisconsin, North Carolina, then you can see a path in terms of him winning the um, the presidency. So, you know, this is you know something that's fascinating. I'm certainly going to be staying up all night, <laughs> you know, uh, um, you know to watch the coverage and um, eventually the, the, the results. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.